In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a feature line uh, for grading. Now, when we do grading, you can see under the home menu we have grading and feature lines. In order to create a grading, we must have a set of feature lines that we'll be using for that. The feature line includes an elevation with your line as well as uh, the location of it in plan view. So <clears throat> I'll show you two options to do that. One is we'll just create feature line from scratch, and then the second way we'll do it is create a feature line from object. So first, if we create feature line from scratch, we're just going to use the default settings here. You just have site and style, similar to before with layer. And we will hit OK. And it's going to ask you for the, the start point. So we will just click, um, come in here and select a start point any of these will do and <clears throat> when you click for the first start point it's going to ask you for an elevation the current elevation of that point that you have selected is 625 so let's just say that we want to create um, an elevation at 640 instead <clears throat> so that's going to be our first point is based at 640 there and has that elevation next we will specify the direction of that line so we'll just put it off in this direction and once we go that way it's going to ask for the grade so there's a the diff the grade between those two points that I've specified do I want that what do I want that to be so in this case we'll select zero we're going to create a pad for a building so this should all be level uh, and then we'll come down here again the direction and then the grade as well as zero <coughs> finally we'll come towards the end here and we'll click there again a grade of zero and finish it up at the end point and that should be our feature line so this is one set of feature lines uh, for a pad for a building or something of that nature now if I wanted to edit that the way I would do that is I'm going to click on this every time I if I click on that feature line it brings up my feature line menu now you'll know that under uh, edit elevations I can turn this on and off and it's going to bring up this elevation editor if I click on Elevation Editor, it's going to bring up all the different points that I specified as well as their ed elevations. Now I can go in and change these elevations. I can go in and uh, just change that to 650 and change all of them if you have them all highlighted. I can highlight just a single one and change the elevation of that one individually if I needed to. Uh, we'll keep it at 650 at this point. So this is how to uh, change in uh, those elevations. You can do that by grade, length, on the grade ahead and grade back. So with that uh, we'll show you how to use the other uh, method for so the second method does entail here under feature line we want to create it lines from objects uh, so in order to create our object we'll use the p line command type in p line and that's just going to uh, start a line off and we'll do something a little different this time we will um, <clears throat> we'll change it from the end of this will be a little different so we'll just actually create an arc just showing you it doesn't all have to be uh, linear we can throw in an arc here as well and can go back and forth within the P line type uh, to any of the commands that are specified here down below I'll just go back to line <coughs> and that will create this one and then finally we'll go to arc <coughs> and finish up at the end here. So this would be our object set. So we have the objects with this P line and now in order to create that into a feature line I will go into create feature line from objects. Now when I select this <coughs> it selects the entire piece. Once that's selected I hit enter and it brings up this menu. Now you'll need to make sure that the at the bottom here the erase existing entities and assign elevations is selected so you can actually assign an elevation to this piece and we will hit OK and here we have an elevation set at 660 feet so we could change that to 770 if we wanted to um, or you could do this from the surface that would draw the exact points from the surface we'll keep it at 670 click OK and now we have two feature lines again this one if I wanted to go into elevation editor you can see the elevations and the stations and uh, the grading again which could be changed or modified throughout the process. So that is how to create feature lines for Civil 3D.